What is going on, you guys? Today, I'm going to tell you guys my top five square bill crankbaits that I like to use. But don't get it confused because this is not me telling you that these are the best or that you have to use these. All this is is my opinion on which five square bill crankbaits I like the best. And I'm going to open up this box and talk about it a little bit. Now, this is in no particular order. This is not anything like that. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. It's just my opinion. Uh, the first one that I really like is the Mega Bass S Crank 1.5. Okay? Number two is the Strike King KVD 1.5 Square Bill Crankbait. Now, I, I'm going to get to talking about these in a minute. Number three, uh, you have the Rapala CRR3. It's a three foot square bill. The others were between three and six feet. Uh, the next one, if I can get it untangled, is the Lucky Craft Skeet Reese. Uh, it's the SKT MR, the square bill. And the last one is the Storm Arashi rattling square bill crankbait. But. to that Mega Bass S-Crank 1.5. The reason why I like this one is because, personally, I think these square bills are designed to look aggressive. They work well. Uh, the balancing system in the crankbait will allow for a faster rise. And the hooks, are almost perfect right out of the package. Now, uh, this is one of the few square bill crankbaits that I do not have to change the hooks or change any of the rings or I just take out of the package, I use it, it's great. And you will notice, you know, like I said a second ago, when it's coming through the water, I have found that that's gonna appeal to a lot of fish. You're gonna watch it come through the water and it's gonna it's gonna have like in it like a wild hunting action and especially in like the spring and the fall and sometimes even in summer it, it's really gonna fire those bass up now remember you guys I am NOT an instructional channel I do not teach people how to fish like I said this is just my opinion so bear with me <laughs> um, okay now on to the to the KVD 1.5 square bill crate bait. These square bills are famous for their hunting action as they come through the water. Now this is a silent square bill, okay? Uh, and the weight on this, this is a 3 8 size. Uh, these work really well. This is the gizzard shad color, but on these crankbaits, I will change the rings and the hooks because they're just not that good from the factory. And before I forget, I forgot to tell you guys, I apologize. This is the blue, this Mega Bass is the bluegill color, and it's a half ounce. And it's also pretty sure, yeah, it's, it's a silent, it's a silent square bill for the most part. Anyway, on to the next one. The Rapala CRR3, uh, the zero, I think it's a zero to three foot square bill. I love these things. Now, this Fire Tiger color is actually my favorite color to use in the summer uh, or in stained or muddy water. And you'll notice that you'll notice that the bill on this square bill crankbait is different than some of the others, and that is because. Well, at least in my opinion, that when it's going through the water, it gives it a tighter wobble, and it keeps it lined up when it's going through the water. And 
You know, I know some of you guys out there love catching pike. Some of you guys don't, but I've found that pike just destroy this thing. Up next, you have the Lucky Craft, uh, the Skeet Reese, the SKT MR score bill. And this will actually go, this will actually go, uh, pretty sure it's three to six feet. And this color in particular, this crawfish color, I really, really like to use that in the spring. And even once in a while in the fall. And I've found that smallmouth absolutely destroy these square bills. But also, wait a minute, before I forget too, you'll notice that the body, you know, the design of the actual square bill, it's constructed very well. They hold up well. They still get chipped and the paint comes off and all that, but it's a good bait. And on to the last one, you have the Storm Arashi, which is, this is the rattling square bill. And you're going to notice that this square bill has a very unique appearance. And what I mean by that is it has the circuit board lip on it. It has kind of like in my opinion, a, a different profile for a body of a square bill. It has the aggressive eyes, and I've found that the hooks on these baits, they're not perfect, but they are pretty good out of the factory. And it also has, before I forget, holy moly, I can't believe I almost forgot. It has, uh, I can't remember the exact name, but it has the line tie system, okay? And basically, whenever you tie your knot, you know, you tie your line, make it tie your knot, it's going to, no matter what, it is going to be, it's going to run true. It's going to be, it's, that line tie design system is designed to where if you do not tie it like completely perfectly, it's still going to work. One thing in particular that you are going to notice with this square bill crankbait is when it is coming through the water, if you're doing a steady retrieve, it's just going to be rattling and going crazy and just, you know, it's, These are a lot of fun, and when these square bills first came out, they were something different in the crankbait market. Now, anytime I fish with these square bill crankbaits, or just a square bill in general, no matter which one it is, the line that I like to use will vary on what I'm doing. Okay? If I am using a square bill and I want to have a little bit more stretch, maybe for a better hookup ratio, or I want the bait to not go as deep or raise up faster. I will use like a monofilament or a copolymer, which is basically sort of the same thing. And I will use anywhere from 14 to 15 pound test. Okay, now if I was fishing a square bill around like cover or like heavy stuff, something like that. If I'm going to bump it off of sticks, off of docks, cover, if I'm going to crash it into things, I would step it up because if I'm bumping it off of the cover in the shallow water, I would switch to like a 17 or a 20, okay? Now, obviously, if I want the crankbait to go deeper, I'm going to use fluorocarbon, okay? Now, if I want it to go deeper, I would use anywhere from... I don't know, 10 to 15 pound test fluorocarbon. Now that's depending on that's depending on where I'm at, what I'm doing, and stuff like that. But I'm sure all you guys already know that. Once in a while I will use 20 pound test. Not all the time, but once in a while I will. Now, if you want to know what reels I would use for a square bell crankbait, just out of curiosity, I would usually pick a reel that's something like i don't know a six two to one a six three to one something that is going to have in the area of 23 to 26 inches per turn okay now once in a while i will use a a high speed reel uh like a, a seven one to one a seven two to one anywhere from i don't know 30 to 32 inches per turn uh, the only time I use that high speed reel, which is not pictured here, is when I want to reel like slower 
and I'm not really trying to burn it or work it or like it, it just all depends. I mean, I like a six or a seven. Some of you guys will say that you use other reels for it. It, it. A lot of it is preference. Now, when I'm when I'm actually fishing the square bill, I'm not gonna keep a tight drag. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have that drag turned down a decent amount because I feel like oops because I feel like that's gonna give me a better hookup ratio. Okay, he's got it. That didn't take long. Yeah, that's a point. Let me get the net for you. Take your time. Give him some drag. It's, it's just a little guy. I should be able to... And by the way, I loosened my drag. You know, I'm sure a lot of you, myself included, have had it to where you had your drag too tight. You went to set the hook or you went to do like a side pressure set and the bait came fly, flying out of the fish's mouth because you had the drag too tight. That, that's just something that I've learned over time. Now, as far as my rod selection for square bills goes, that also depends for me. I mean, a lot of the time, I will use a 6'6", six six, medium power fast action. If I, want to be, if I want to make short casts and be accurate, I like that shorter rod. If I want to make a long cast, and really load my rod tip that's when i would select something like a seven foot or a seven foot one medium power moderate action rod to get that rod tip to load you get that whippy tippy you get a long distance you know it'll help you turn your brakes down even more if you're just starting with it okay but right here i know that is a lipless crankbait i just had that tied on so don't think that i'm calling this a square <laughs> One of the only times I would use uh, medium heavy for a square bill crankbait is if it's is if it's like a, a heavier square bill, maybe something like I don't know uh, five eighths or bigger. Uh, I've found that there are some medium heavy rods that the tip will load well and they work great for square bills. Some won't. You know, as I've said in previous videos, each manufacturer, each rod manufacturer has different specifications all the rods are different they have different actions in my opinion you just got to find what you like to use but there is also a time and a place when to use different applications now if you guys are curious as to what size or what weight of a square bill I use a lot of the time I'm gonna opt to use a 3 8 okay I mean there will be times in there will be times in the summer where I would actually bump up my size so instead of a instead of a 1.5 square bill I would opt for a 2.5 and the reason behind that is because I have found times when there are people using like a 1.5 size and it's not working and sometimes the fish just like the bigger profile sometimes it just drives them nuts Now there's also times in the spring and fall or just whenever I want to downsize that I'll use a smaller square bill like something like a like a 3 16 or a quarter ounce but the majority of the time I'm going to use like a 3 8 or a half ounce. Like I found for me like the, the best success that I have with a lot of baits is either a 3 8 or a half ounce. Uh, a lot of the times when I will go up in size or go down will depend on the conditions or the seasons or excuse me, the season, as many of you know. These were just the square bell crankbaits that I like the best. And like I said earlier, you know, I, I, I am not an instructional channel. I do not teach people how to fish. The entire point behind my channel, because I know there's still some of you that would like to know, is I am an entertainment channel, okay? I just, I make fishing videos, and I like to share my experience. You know, a lot of you guys know I work all the time. And fishing is my side thing. And that's really the entire point behind it. And that's kind of why the whole thing got started. But do me a favor. Leave me a comment in the section below. What is your favorite square bill crankbait? What size square bill do you like the best? What kind of line do you like to fish on? Let me know in the comments. Tell me some of your thoughts. You guys know I love reading your comments. I like seeing what you have to say. 
And I know a lot of you guys are really good fishermen. A lot of you guys really know what you're doing. So, you know, you know, maybe I can even learn from some of you. So, you know, let me know. Tell me what you thought about the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching this episode. And I will see all of you guys next time.